Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Kill 7, this is Greeny XI and this is episode 40. What we're going to do in this episode is head back to the Union Hotel and sort of finish up where we left off in Smile Part 1. So, let's get a move on. There might be a cutscene or two, but um, I'm not entirely certain. We'll find out now. I mean, I wouldn't class this a little bit as a cutscene, really. Suburb Seattle, yes. From there to Northeast Union Hotel, should be. Right, there's going to be a cutscene to start this off, actually. I remember now. See you in a sec. Hold on. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. The final order. Full stop. <laughs> ah, I hope you had a pleasant day, sir. Enjoy your stay. That cutscene was huge, wasn't it? And that's what the whole hotel is going to be like. It's going to be like that. Every time we see a bloodstain, we need to examine it. It's going to be a cutscene for each one, so I'll shut up each time. So we noticed Garshan's arm there shooting him. So this is little. Garshan's little memory fest, climbing the hotel again. And we are going to see on each floor exactly who he kills, and it is uh, entirely linear, really. It's on track completely. I mean, the majority of the game is completely on track, pretty much, but there's no choices. You, you won't be having uh, choices so much as you climb. So, floor number one. Would you include the reception floor, the ground floor as floor one? I don't think you would. I can't think of an elevator now. Hmm. Anyway. Bloodstain for this floor. Get ready. Ah, oh, poor Con. He's just looking out the window like an innocent child. An innocent blind child. <laughs> and yeah. Down he goes. So Garshan killed Con. That's pretty distressing. Or Amir. Amir killed Con, I, I guess. I get confused of whether they are actually the same person or not. And I think a lot of this game goes over my head a bit. But... But oh, there we go, it's, it's fine. I still enjoy the game, I enjoy the gameplay, I enjoy the aesthetics, I enjoy the music, you know. You don't have to understand a story completely in a game to enjoy it fully. That's my take on video games anyway. They can be more of an artistic experience instead, if you want them to be. Or, oh, heaven forbid, just because you like the gameplay of a game. <laughs> Shocking, I know. Third floor. Okay, it's the third floor. In the bathroom. Who'd he kill in the bathroom with the hairdryer? Where the hairdryer is. That's the end of Mask. That's how he died in the bar in the shower. I was half expecting it to be Kaidi. You know, they always have the typical woman in a shower scene in in these adult mature games or whatever you want to call them. Let's check the options a sec. No items, no vision ring, nothing. In other words, this is completely real, I think. I think that's what I was trying to imply. I don't know. Sorry. On to the next floor to find out who's gonna die next. These cutscenes, I think, I think they're interesting because you don't like to see 
your main characters die during games. It's not what you like. It's what makes sad ending so sad <laughs> when a main character dies in films or games or whatever. Hmm. Next up is. Kaidi, and that's why you blow up the wardrobe at one point. It's supposed to signify that something important happened there. Right, and I think I think that was one of the most interesting cutscenes of the Lord in this hotel. Not because there was anything particularly big about it, but because it showed a bit more of a human side to Kaidi. She isn't just an assassin. She was scared. She was she wasn't going to fight back, you know. So yeah, that's why I think that's one of the better ones of the place. Next up. Room 502, okay. I know, I bet you thought we'd never see this hotel again. Bet it was some of you were hoping because of how tedious the first part was. But I think this one's a little bit better, I think it is. A lot better actually. Garcy, I'm glad you're okay. It was the last promise. Anyway, I'll keep the explanation short. Most ballot booths are at schools. Are they? There isn't one at my school, ever. Any of... Um, any of the schools I went to. It was like, um... It's either been at, like, churches, or... I find that a bit funny, actually, how politics can be involved in churches, but uh, I'll, I'll shut up about that one. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, just churches, I think that's about it. Or youth clubs, or, you know, things like that. That's where the ballots uh, have been done around my area, at least. But my area is like, sort of country-ish. Yeah, it's more country than city by miles, but... But yeah, that might be why, that might be why. This is big trouble. Corrupt officials are at a loss. The country has been revealed for what it is, a monster. America is not a monster. Just got evil people. <laughs> I mean at the top in the politics. Some of them are pretty dire. Same as Britain, don't get me wrong. The British politicians are not innocent by a long shot. Trust my words. I wouldn't do you wrong. How are you, Garcy? Okay, let's get going. It's not the only reason we came in here. Oh, that was a sneaky one for Coyote. <laughs> that was a good one. He tried to defend himself. He did, but didn't quite work out, did it? Not quite. But he did a lot better than all the others so far. 
In all fairness, Mask and Con were just sneaked up on, but Kaede did nothing. She just hid in a wardrobe where everyone knows she's gonna hide. <laughs> Not even under the bed. That might have been a little bit better. At least she could have grabbed his foot or something. But no, in the wardrobe. Completely wrong. <laughs> or even out the window. I mean, they got balconies. Look at them. Anyways, anyways, enough about Kaede's stupidity. Let's, <laughs> let's move on to the next person. On the sixth floor was the death of. So, you must be the one they call the Bloody Heartland. You here to kill the Smiths, is that it? Rule of thumb don't set your goals too high. What do you want? Who do you want, huh? You. <laughs> he put his gun up, but he didn't shoot. Or did it just not go off? I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But Dan was like one of those people who will wave a gun around. This is my interpretation, but would never actually shoot. You know, they tried to act all brave by having a gun in their hands and waving it about, but would never actually go through with it. That's my interpretation of him anyway. If it just didn't go off, then I'm completely wrong. Seventh floor. Oh, here we go. I think, how long have we been? I think we'll just carry on. Should we just carry on? No. We'll finish the game, because there's going to be credits and stuff, and it'll go on a bit too long, I think. So, we'll finish this assignment and stuff next episode, which is going to be... Pretty exciting, it's going to be the grand finale. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in a bit when we finish up the assignment. In a bit.